My name is Madar Kleiman Shoval. I am a quality control manager at Azera, a global leader in the seed industry, developing and marketing seeds worldwide. Customers are at the art of everything we do. Our experts actively engage with growers to evaluate their needs. We assist our growers with guidance and support throughout the entire crop cycle. Today we are here to share our knowledge of the TOBRFE virus that started to spread on different markets worldwide. As a tomato leader seeds company, we invested in researching and testing the virus. TOBRFE stands for Tomato Brown Rugus Fruit Virus and it is probably originated from some parts of Africa and the Middle East. Our research team has been following its growth. Its spread is very hard to prevent. However, we know that the virus is highly infectious and according to our records, the TOBRFV is evolving on a global scale in different parts of the world, which includes Europe, North America and Asia. Our quality control laboratories are considered among the most highly accredited facilities in the world. Our seed to seed testing policy includes close monitoring of all production facilities, from the pre-sowing process to harvesting the fruit, right down to executing seed health tests at the end of the process. Our quality control testing policy is based on ISHI, International Seed Health Initiative Detection Protocols, with a full recommended sample size for tomato and pepper seeds. Our protocols are authorized by NAL and ISO 17025. Our tomato and pepper seed shipments are provided with certificate declaration for TOBRFE. Hello, my name is David Levy and I have been working with Azera for over 30 years as a plant pathologist. I would like to share some practical advice and active measures on how to eliminate the growth of the TOBRFV, a new member of the Tobamo viruses group, with the use of strict hygiene and highly effective sanitation performance. Our current findings of conditions and controls that may support growers and plant raisers in a better understanding of the TOBRFV are for better sanitation performance and plant disease management. World globalization during the last decades creates new challenges for the agriculture industry due to an increase in disease pressure. There are three elements which can cause a disease outbreak. When these combine together, they create the epidemiology triangle. The host plant, the environment, and the pathogen. TOBRFV is a new member in the group of Tobamo virus group. In addition, tobacco mosaic virus and the tomato mosaic virus are well known in the solanum industry. They are highly infectious mechanically. Bumblebees can serve as mechanical vectors. These viruses are seed transmitted and their inactivation point is above 19 centigrades and extreme pH levels. For decades, Tobamo viruses were controlled by two major means, preventive measures and incorporate genetic resistance sources in breeding programs. For many years, there was a known resistance which came from a variety of genetic resources against TMV and TOMV. Nowadays, the TOBRFV has all capabilities to overcome and break through all that resistance, which literally means there is no genetic solution as of now. As for virus symptoms, different conditions may affect the symptom expression. And as we can see in field conditions, the symptoms all look the same, but with different types of performances. TOBRFV symptoms resemble the TOMV symptoms and other unrelated viruses or physiological stress. Symptoms vary subject to conditions, genetic backgrounds, stage of infection, and environmental conditions. In general, the different factors which affect the symptoms of Tobamo viruses are strain, variety, time of infection, light intensity, and mixed infections. We should bear in mind that the mixture with other plant pathogens may lead us to the wrong conclusion. 
The example shown here is what happens when the TOBRF is infesting the plant. And here we can see what happens when the TOBRFV and TSWV are mixed together. In the field, it looks like this. The virus is very stable and can be preserved for a long period in infested soil and surfaces. Root debris can maintain the virus for long periods. Early infection of young plants will enable the virus to multiply into high quantities which can aggregate to a very stable crystal. Once it has infested the plant, the virus is already inside the root system, meaning the virus is in the soil before symptoms expression. The symptoms of the virus and the spread of infection not all occur at the same time, but are different from plant to plant. Previous experiments conducted on Tobamo virus have shown how highly infectious the virus is. The percentage rates of infection rise dramatically when we are dealing with mechanical means. Transmission of the virus by hand corresponds to over 80% of infection rates. In the epidemiological triangle that we see, our main goal is preventing the pathogen from rising. Once it rises, we should restrict it and prevent its spread. In other words, plant disease management interrupts the disease cycle. We should be implementing three important phytosanitary elements. Phytosanitary measures, phytosanitary discipline, and phytosanitary management. Use certified seeds only. Apply shoe disinfection. Use protective clothing, long coat, disposable gloves, and shoe covers. Exchange clothing between compartments. Staff personal belongings should be kept out. Lock electronic devices inside Ziploc plastic bags. Disinfect tools before use. Avoid tool exchange between compartments. Restrict entrance of unauthorized stuff. Apply warning signs. Maintain regular staff trainings. Individual spraying hoses for each compartment. Individual separate spraying suits for each compartment. Use plastic boxes which can be easily cleaned and sanitized. Minimize the virus spread from mature to young crops. Avoid crop overlapping. Remove weeds and host plants. Ensure all plant debris are disposed and destroyed. Renew releasing wires for each crop cycle. Avoid and remove home gardening host plants, including ornamentals. Remember, in plant disease management, prevention is the most effective way.